But speaking of choosing not to participate in the butt fucking of the family pet, somebody's trying to fucking hit, hook a ride, hitch a ride on the wagon. The Archbishop of Talentbury himself, shit stain incarnate, he broke his own record because I'm going to tell you this. I remember when they said in 2000, I don't have the year right. It could have been 2004, 2003, whatever. When they said that he was coming, announced to the WWE staff, the writing staff and the creative team that Vince Russo was coming back, he got fired 24 hours later because they all said, fuck you. We're not going to be around this fucking guy, right? This didn't take an hour. They announced that he apparently, and, and help me with this, Brian, because you're on the internet more than I have been last week, but they announced he was going to be part of the StarCast festivities, and within an hour, Cody Rhodes had tweeted, no, fuck you, <laughs> basically tweeted, Vince <laughs> Russo, you're not welcome at our event, we do not reward bad behavior, and he was unbooked from the StarCast. I don't. I don't remember any this happening to anybody even once where they got a, in the wrestling business where you get hired and fired within a day <laughs> and get up where you get hired and fired within an hour because people don't want to be around your worthless sack of shit ass. They but put a, uh, they put up art with him on it and, and then they had to pull it down like within 90 minutes. <laughs> they actually had art made. They were ready for a big rollout. <laughs> And here's the thing. He just, he, he, cause he's so in need of a job and attention. I don't know which is more important to him. He's so in need of a job and attention that he took that to begin. No one, I know that a large part of the fans that would be in town for that show would probably, you know, not like me because I've pointed out the various things that have been wrong with their idols and, and their behavior and such and things and carrying on. So I would expect a hostile reception and 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 act if unless i needed the money badly would not then put myself in that position of going around a bunch of people would be grumpy with me and also conversely he knocks them all the time like he even knows what the fuck he's talking about actually when vince russo knocks you it does give you a little credibility as doing something right but but he knocks them all the time so why would he want to if he believes he has any credibility why would he want to associate himself with that where the, then people would have to say, oh, well, now look, Ava Russo knocks him. Same thing I thought immediately. Russo knocks him, but he's not above taking a payoff to come up here and be part of the thing. I said, that's why that was my main consideration for not being involved because I don't want people to think that I'm a fucking hypocrite. But he has no problem with that. But then to not know... <laughs> To not know enough to, to, to take the booking and not realize that a bunch of the people on the show that are running the show, because it's the boys running the show, I believe we mentioned that, that the boys wouldn't want you on it because you're a goddamn, you know, it's, it's dealing with him is like trying to pick up a turd by the clean end. There is absolutely no way to do it where you will please the majority of the people involved in the situation because nobody wants him around. The young wrestling fans, the old wrestling fans, the young wrestlers, the old wrestlers. Pretty much the only thing that people have, 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 have met in the middle on amongst all those groups is that Vince Russo is a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> so anyway, 